one, two, three, four. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Everybody. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Rock. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. And now Sip on and all me. Hi. Okay. Are you ready to concentrate? Yes. Because we've got to lift this whole tower. Everybody sit down, and we're going to move the tower with our minds. Okay. Imagine the tower. One, two, ready, go! Folks, welcome to the interview. We know a lot of people out there hate their jobs, like us. Yeah, but sometimes it's nice to know that people are out there with crappier jobs than we have. Yeah, so we brought some of those people here today, and we're going to use them to make us feel better about ourselves. So let's get them in here. Hey, man, what's your name? My name's Jack. Jack Johnson. Hey, Jack, uh, what do you do, man? I'm a door-to-door -door salesman. Okay, what do you sell? Doors. Hmm. Yeah, but dude, as soon as you knock on someone's door, you know they already got one. I just remind myself of that old salesman motto. Success is 90% frustration and 10% perspiration. Ew. So you're just sweaty and frustrated all day. Ugh. Yeah, man, I think you should quit. I ain't got nowhere else to go. Okay, next. Yeah, hey, uh, what's your, what's your name? Uh, hi, I'm a Gretchen Peters. Hi, Gretchen. Uh, what do you do, man? Uh, I'm a tree gynecologist. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, that's disgusting. Well, oh. it's, it's sticky work. Oh, gross. Oh, how do you know if a tree is a man or a woman? All it takes is a sap smear. Oh! Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, we Dude, better get the next person get in here. Get out. Get her away from me. Oh. Uh, what's your name? Randy Barker. What do you do, Randy? I'm a quality tester for a mace company. Oh, God, that's disgusting. So you test... <laughs> yeah, you... I, I test mace all day long. All day long. Doesn't that kill your eyes, man? Oh, I'm pretty used to it by now. Let's see your eyes. Oh, God. Ooh. I'm going to be sick. Oh. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, how about if we go to uh, somewhere where Ollie's not getting sick? You all right? Which rocker could actually live up to seven weeks without his head? The answer coming up. This is a special song. This is the song that we used to, to get out of jail. jail. We sung our way out of jail three times in three different states. And uh, here it is. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I know a girl named Tina. She kissed a guy named Jake And then I kissed a girl named Tina And her tongue tastes just like steak Oh, I got a four-leaf clover Over at the hockey arena Come on up and bring your friends We're gonna go to Pina And I met a girl named Tina And she kissed some guy named Drew Kissed a girl named Tina And then her tongue tastes just like glue I got some big suspenders Right up on the lawn Bring your friends with the fire trucks To partying all night long I got a girl named Tina uh, uh, And she knew a guy named Jakey Jake 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 And I knew a girl named Tina 
your tongues taste just like brakes. I got a brand new carpet right up on my lawn. Send the guys for peanuts. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Dave Matthews can actually live for up to seven weeks without his head. Did you know that? No, dude, it's, it's uh, cockroaches can live seven weeks without their head being on their body. Oh, really? Yeah, cockroaches. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah but if, uh, it's cool because if, like, the, if the sky was made out of, like, if the sky was all fire. Yeah. And the ocean was to all blood. Yeah. And everything, all of our, every single one of our uh, holiday, our vacation pictures would have looked like Albers, all of them, because we just looked so cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you can, uh, you should just draw paint on the back of them. Do you ever do that to your pictures? Like, put fake, draw fake backgrounds in and stuff? Sometimes. Like, a lot of times, we would just go take pictures in front of a white wall. And, and then you draw in your vacation. Yeah. That actually makes a lot more sense. 50 years down the line, what's the, what's the difference? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Oh, we gotta go to Precious Roy. Oh, yeah. Hi, folks, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network. Now, folks, I got a nightmare scenario for you here. You're all cozy in your bed, you're trying to go to sleep, but you can't, because the damn dog is barking, you got a snoring family member, your brother's in the next room talking his head off on the phone all night, your sister's downstairs eating and eating and eating what can you do? I know what you're thinking. If only had, I had some sort of all-purpose muzzle. Well, Precious Roy has made it the Precious Roy all-purpose muzzle. Now, if you're like me, you're looking at your family members and you're thinking, I wish you'd stop eating and talking. With the Precious Roy all-purpose muzzle, your dreams have come true. You know about the trouble I've been having with my dreams. <laughs> I know, man. You get some serious-ass dream trouble. Let's take some calls, shall we, Syphil? Okay, first caller. What's, what's what is this, this joke? Is, no, it's Morse code. I'll decipher. He says he's really happy with the product, and he's wearing one now, and it's helped him stop swearing and smoking. Incredible, folks. Incredible. Let's take some more calls. Yeah, if it wasn't for this, I never, ever would have gotten through monk school. Oh, that's terrific. So it helped you out a lot. Yeah, you have to go through three years of silence, and I couldn't have done it without it. That must be difficult. Yeah, I mean, when you see a nice ass, you want to yell out, Nice ass! Yeah, and this product helped you from doing that. You know, it's really encouraging to hear all these great calls, and let's talk to Precious Roy and... Yeah, let's see, what do you think about these uh, all-purpose muzzles, Precious? This is Precious Roy, and I like the fresh hot donuts! <laughs> Precious, what about the all-purpose muzzles? Buy my mufflers! Oh. Suckers! Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. Hello and welcome to the news. My name is Syphil, your anchorman tonight. In Milwaukee, a jury found a 27-year-old... Can you hear me? I'm using this helmet to transmit my thoughts. This is hell. Syphil is hell. Help me. Get me away from him. He has a third nipple. And it's Why are you wearing that stupid helmet again? And it's inside his mouth. He wets his bed. He wet his bed till he was 19. He went to prom with a stuffed swordfish. Sharing the mic with him is grating on me. I can't take it. Must concentrate. Must concentrate. His breast smells like gasoline. He used to have breast implants. And that's the news for today. Syphil spits into fans. They, uh... they -o. See you tomorrow. Good night. Hey, come on in here. Come on. What? Come in here. This is calls from the public. Yeah, okay. I was getting a drink of water. Oh, really? This is how much water I drank. Wow, that's really cool. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Calls from the public. Here we go. First caller. Caller, go ahead. 
Uh, yeah, I'm having a little bit of a problem in the bathroom. Oh, yeah? What, what number? number? What number? Yeah, yeah like, like one or two, two or... Uh, three? Three? What's, What's three? three? Don't make me say it, it's so embarrassing. I, I... Say what? I don't know what, what three? three is. Shaving. No, oh, that's totally normal. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry, buddy. Really? Yeah, that's just part of a man's cycle. It happens once a month. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Really. Totally, totally normal. So I'm not weird? No, no huh? it's, it's nature's oh, way. Thank you. Sure, no problem. See you later, pal. Okay, let's take another call. Caller, go ahead. Uh, yeah. What is, uh, 900 minus 400? 500. Okay, and what is 20 plus 20? 40. Okay, and just one more. Wait, what, what is this? Is... What is this about? What are you doing? Why are you asking us? I'm in, uh, I'm in math class right now. We're giving you answers to your test. I just thought I'd call and get some answers. That's you that can't okay? do that. That's cheating. That's cheating. Oh, the teacher's coming. I gotta go. Oh jeez. Okay. Next caller. Caller, go ahead. This is your landlord. Oh. Man. I just got your water bill. Uh oh. Did you? What the hell is going on over there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's wrong, man? You, what's wrong? You used eight hundred thousand gallons of water in a week. Ooh. What the hell are you doing over there? Oh, we uh, we we, we build a water, water slide. slide. Water slide? What the hell? What? This is an apartment. It's not an amusement park. Well, well you, if you would see it, you might here's... disagree with that statement. Yeah. Hey, uh, you guys are gonna be out of there. Oh, um. You don't scare us. No, we're gonna go now, Besides, folks. Besides, we're um, done with college from the public. Yeah, it's, it's over. over. Okay, okay, we'll uh, we'll, we'll talk, talk to you guys, guys in a second. <sighs> okay, that wasn't so good. Hello there. This is the part of the show where we talk to Chester. Hey, Chester, what's up, man? Hey. What's the scariest thing that you have ever seen? I don't know. Why are you asking me questions? Can I ask you guys questions? Yeah, you can ask us questions if you want. Why? Can I crash here tonight? Chester, you, Chester, you ask us that every single day, and you've lived here for three years. Don't you think you just live here? No, I'm, no, I'm a, I'm a wanderer, a rebel. <laughs> I'm balls out, kind of. All right, Chester, whatever. Cool. Okay, here's a good question for you. What would happen if you cooked and then ate? A Jamiroquai CD. Hmm. Think about that, and we'll get back to you after the break. If you cooked and ate a Jamiroquai CD, you would die! Probably if you ate any CD, you'd die. Yeah. Last, Last night, night, the Baron brought you a new crankshaft for your 9-2. Uh, uh, for the, what, you mean for the 446? Um, or the 446, I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, he said what do you, that, what, it, is he it found it in a... It's old, but he found it in a flea market. Does it go wide disease? It goes wide disease, yeah. Does, but it, confer it, does, it, uh, does it confer it on uh, poly, polygram? It's got polygram aluminum, but it's got the Access 20 for the torque uplift. Now, see, the uh, ZZ48, the one that you were, yeah, you yeah. were looking at at uh, Parker's? Yeah. Well, the Baron, the Baron said that only at, only at the flea market he went to are you going to find that kind of access on the 20 lift. Because mm -hmm. the 20 lift's got like a 44 ratio to the XY. Yeah. It's badass, dude. Well, well, if you crank the shaft forward, yeah. you can get Wait, we, we um, gotta, virtual access. We've got to get uh, to an interview. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the interview part of our show. Yeah, if you guys are like me, you're bad at math, and you're colorblind, and dyslexic, and you have a short attention span, and you have sequential order what deficiency. You, what you, stop, stop, stop. Anyways... Today's guest <clears throat> swears he can help those of us who suffer with mathematics. Yeah, so please welcome Dr. Clixby of the Clixby Mathematical System. Hello. So you've developed an entire mathematical system that even people like me could benefit from. That's right, Ollie. I think you'll find with my system that even people on your level could understand Hey, it. what do you mean with his <laughs> level? Well, so if I did a little homework before I came here to the show, and I took the liberty to look at some of your old report cards and, and saw your math grades. You jerk, man. What are you doing looking through our report cards? I just wanted to know what I was working with. <laughs> you had bad math grades. 
Man, you better shut up. You have no right talking about us like that. Let's get... You, you don't remember me, do you? No. I sat behind you guys in math class. <laughs> you, used, be, you used to beat me up, and Ollie, you used to try to copy off me. Oh, yeah, I do remember this dude. I don't remember him. I, do. I, I remember perfectly. And now I'm famous with my system, and I came back, and I'm yeah. having the last <clears throat> laugh. Ha, yeah. ha, ha. This is, uh, <laughs> hey, shut up, man. This is Dewey's little brother. Oh, yeah, your older brother was Dewey Decimal. So? Yeah, well, it must be <clears throat> hard trying to come up with a math system when your older brother has such a famous one. I'm here to talk about my system. It's my system. My, my system's better. My, mine's better. Dude, this must suck living in your brother's shadow like this. Forget him. I have the answers. I have the answers to the test. All right, man, just I have the answers chill to the test. out. Quit making such a big deal about your brother who's so cool and tell us about your system. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, with the Clixby mathematical system, it's easy because you can spell the, spell the numbers using the number as the first letter like this. <laughs> Teacher liked me best! Teacher liked me! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calls from the Public, your chance to call us. Greetings. Yell into your phone, and we'll pick up. Hi. Call or go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> your show's pretty weird, dudes. Thanks, well, thanks man. It's crest and fresh, though, but... You know? <laughs> right. Okay, what's your right. question? Yeah, all my friends say I'm wearing sandals, but I know I'm not. Mm. What? Why don't you just look at your feet and tell us right now? Right? Yeah. Audience. Well, that's grass and fresh, but, you know, why sweat it? You know? <laughs> sure. Sure, why don't you just tell us? But it's just peace, you know? Yeah, we're all about peace and everything, too, but why don't you just look at your sandals and... Yeah. Well, that See, that's Crescent Fresh, but what, what's so Crescent Fresh about you dudes is that you just don't get it. Oh, we, we get it. I think you just need to look down at your feet. Hey, hey dudes. Yeah. What? I think we're all gonna ride Crescent Fresh from here on out. Whatever. Yeah. Thank you, caller. Sure. Thanks, caller. Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome to It's Almost the End of the Show. Listen, dude, you shouldn't be laughing at that guy. I, I think you're totally... You know, quantum physics say that if you want to learn something, you've got to forget everything you already know. Now... Quantum physics said that? Well, Einstein said that. One of those dudes who knows all that <laughs> said that. Dude, Anyways, the thing is, it doesn't matter. I'm just so bad at math. <clears throat> I spent all of my math years in the, sitting in the hallway, and I didn't learn anything. Yeah, I spent some of those years in the hallway with you, actually. I know. <laughs> but listen, the thing about, first of all, you got to be careful when you're talking to dudes like Clixby. They're really sensitive. These guys, these mathematicians, they're they real sensitive. just think about numbers. Numbers? What are you talking about, man? This is this guy's job. He's dealing with numbers every day. I, ju I just don't know enough about math, period. Well, math's so. really easy. I mean, you can't learn it? No, I can't. Oh, I, can, I know. I can help you learn it. How? Okay, I'm going to teach you math using music. They say it's the best way to learn something. Are you sure? I'm sure of this. He's sure of this. But two plus two is four. I'm sure of this. He's sure of it. I'm sure of that. He's sure of that. But don't you think it would it be a little bit peculiar? But what about you... one plus one? That's two. And one plus two is two. Plus one is three. That's right. I think I like this now. Well, what about five plus two? Well, let's back up a little bit and count two up to six. One, two, three, four, five plus two. So what you're saying is that one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. Five plus one is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven plus one is eight. Eight plus one is nine. 
Nine plus one is ten. Ten plus one is ten. Ten plus one is one. That's a whole lot. <laughs>